This lesson is about function evaluation. Let's review some definitions. A function, f of x, is an input-output machine. You substitute each input value into the formula, compute it, which equals the output. Each pair of input-output can be graphed as the coordinate x, comma, f of x. For example, given the function f of x equals 2x, you simply double the input. For instance, the input x equals 4 yields the output f of 4 equals 2 times 4, which is 8. Thus, x equals 4, the input, and f of 4 equals 8, the output, and the coordinate is 4, 8. Here's another example with the same function. The input x equals 10 yields the output f of 10 equals 2 times 10, which is 20. The coordinate is therefore 10, 20. Thus, x equals 10 and f of 10 equals 20, and the coordinate is 10, 20. Let's try a negative input value. The input x equals negative 5 yields the output f of negative 5 equals 2 times negative 5, which is negative 10. Thus, x equals negative 5, and f of negative 5 equals negative 10, and the coordinate is negative 5, negative 10. Note, the notation f of x does not mean you are multiplying f times x. Rather, the notation f of x equals 2x can be written empty as f of parenthesis equals 2 times parenthesis to indicate that whatever you plug into the function, you also plug into the formula. Thus, f of 10 means the function evaluated at x equals 10, which we know to be 20. Here's another example. Given the function f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 2, evaluate the function for the values of x equals 1 and x equals negative 5. It is often helpful to write the function empty, that is, replacing each x variable with an open parenthesis. Thus, our function would be written as f of input value equals input squared plus 3 input plus 2. This empty function shows you the structure of the computation you are about to perform. Whatever input you substitute into this function, you are going to compute input squared plus 3 times input plus 2. For example, f of 1 means 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 2. And you'd write it out officially as f of 1, meaning evaluate the function for the input value of 1. And it equals 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 2, which is really 1 plus 3 plus 2, which is 6. Therefore, in shorthand, f of 1 equals 6, and the coordinate is 1, 6. Uh, how about for the input? Negative 5. f of negative 5 means negative 5 squared plus 3 times negative 5 plus 2. You would write it out as f of negative 5 equals negative 5 squared plus 3 times negative 5 plus 2, which computes to 25 minus 15 plus 2, which is 12. Therefore, f of negative 5 equals 6, and the coordinate is negative 5, 12. Let's go ahead and find f of 0. It means you plug in 0 for the input. So input squared plus 3 times 0 plus 2, which is 0 minus 0 plus 2, and that equals 2. So f of 0 equals 2, and the coordinate is 0, 2. If you were to make a graph, our graph would have the, the values, the, imp, the coordinates, 1, 6, negative 5, 12, and 0, 2. Here's a practice problem for you. Evaluate the following functions for the given input values. So given f of x equals 2x squared minus 6x plus 9, go ahead and find f of x for the input values of 2, the input value of negative 4, and the input value of 0. Hint, I always recommend you write the function empty first, so you can more easily substitute in your numbers and see the structure of the formula. Give it a shot and then go to the next screen to check your answers. Here's the answer key.